Tonight, a Grankato police officer is in the spotlight after he was fired, but is now placed on administrative leave. He is now seeking compensation, claiming he suffered harassment from town officials after becoming a whistleblower for the St. Landry Parish Sheriff's Office. In a News 10 investigation, our own News 10's Britt LaFaso dug deeper and discovered the officer has been fired from multiple police agencies in Acadiana. She joins us live in studio with what she's learned. Britt. Salper and Darla, this is Sam DeZinno. He was initially fired from the Grand Coteau Police Department yesterday for showing up to work in full police uniform, ready for patrol duty. So what's the issue? According to Assistant Police Chief Michael Buck, he's not a certified police officer, but instead works as a dispatcher. DeZinno is not certified to go on patrol, and that is why the Assistant Chief says he fired him. Dezeno now claiming it was because he was a whistleblower. Well, this place has got a cancer, a terrible cancer. Officer Sam Tezano's attorney, Jack Whitehead, claiming since Tezano became a whistleblower in July, the Grand Coteau Police Department has cut back on his hours and not paid him for hours he's worked. They've tried to besmirch him with the, that means slander, lie, cheat, Officer Tezano and his attorney stood side by side with Grand Coteau Police Chief Jeffrey Carl Gilbo, who's currently also on administrative leave after being arrested for malfeasance in office and obstruction of justice in July. I'm here to back up my officer. That's the only reason why I'm here today. So he is the top um, officer in, in the department. You know, as far as arrests, uh, drug arrests, he's recovered several farms off the streets. He outshines, outworks, and outperforms every last one of his fellow officers here. And there's a little jealousy. That's simple. News 10 looked into Tezano's employment history. That tells a different story. You've worked for six different police agencies in the last six years, fired from three of them. Departments he was fired from include Opelousas, St. Martinville, and Grand Coteau once before. Okay. You're also not post-certified, which means you do not have wait, the authority. Wait, wait. The reason he's not post-certified is because of Michael Buck playing ball games. Grand Coteau Assistant Police Chief Michael Buck saying he fired Tezano Wednesday because he is not post-certified. We asked Tezano why he has not gotten certified in his four years in law enforcement. He's, Why not before you worked for Grand Wait, Coteau? wait, he did, he did have his, his he was post-certified. No. Okay, well, you know what? We'll, we'll ask that in the courtroom. I'll, I'll come out in discovery. Sam, can you answer any questions? Why you never got your post-certifications? We're done. D-O-N-E. Meet is over with Tim Martin. While Tezano was fired on Wednesday, today the Grand Coteau City Council instead placed Tezano on administrative leave until a special meeting can be held to discuss his termination. Tezano's attorney says he is filing the lawsuit in Lafayette Federal Court next week. Britt LaFosso, Caleb Wine, News 10.